The best way to do that is with a photogenic, buzzworthy item. Right now, chicken and waffles are hot. So we're gonna do our own new Jimmy-style chicken and waffles. Trends are great, because at the end of the day, they're a trend for a reason, because people wanna see them, people wanna take advantage of it. Instead of just kind of a classic batter for the waffle, we're gonna make it savory. So we'll do some fresh chives in there, a little bit of cayenne to make it pop. You wanna get that bold, spicier flavor. So it's all about making sure that you catch those trends right away and then copy away. I think some trends that we're gonna to start to see in food nowadays, right, breakfast is hot. And local's always been big, but I think it's getting even more local than local. It's getting hyper-local. The more height you have on the plate, it catches people's eyes as they walk by. Look at that, right? Isn't that great? Beautiful. When people see this dish, they won't be able to Instagram it fast enough. And that's free advertising, my friend. So food photography, number one, you wanna make sure that you're using natural light. Never use your flash ever in food photography. If anything, take the photo without a flash, and if it's too dark, use Instagram to brighten it up. Number two, make sure that if you're taking a shot from above, which is now the new thing, these above food shots, that you've got a lot of detail in there and a lot of texture. So put a couple different items into food shots, not just one plate against an empty backdrop of the table. Don't change the food, play with the food. Don't try and style the food. Food comes out a certain way. If you style the food and a guest falls in love with that and they get it the way we played it, then that guest is gonna be angry and think that we're actually playing it differently for every single guest. Make sure that you recognize if you sit there with your phone and you take a photo for five minutes and then you bite into the food and it's cold, that that's your responsibility, that you actually created the scenario in which your food was cold.